I watch through the crack. Well, they can see through the crack. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Shakira. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making tea tree and coconut oil suppositories as per request of one of you all, which, which is... <coughs> you all which is actually a perfect video to make because you can buy these at your local health food store but it's better for us to make everything of course and then if you wanted to add some extra stuff like some probiotics or something like that you could throw that in there as well um just so if you don't have candida issues i think this is like a maintenance thing okay candida bb and all that stuff but also Keep in mind that this will be a mask. This is something that you could use like if you and your spouse are going to be intimate and you feel some type of way about how you know your scent is, use one of these and it will help you feel better during the moment. But of course, go back to your Candida Recovery regimen that you know you can purchase the My Candida Recovery through my website. I will leave that link below as well as my Yoni Steam that comes with the Rose Quartz Crystal. So anyhow, let's get started and I will show you how to make it. Okay, so you'll need a few items to get started. So this is virgin organic coconut oil. I got this from Amazon.com. It's by Better Bodies and I love this coconut oil because it's a huge container and it's only like 20 bucks. Then you'll need some tea tree oil. I am using this brand. Use whatever you find um, and that works for you. You will need a mixing bowl and you will also need a spatula. Lastly, you will need some sort of mold. Now these are in the shape of coffee beans, but this was the smallest that I could find on Amazon. And so they're flexible, so that way once you put them in the freezer, they will easily pop out. Now the first thing that we're gonna do is take our coconut oil. I'm taking about a fourth of a cup to a half of a cup. I just really eyeballed it with my spatula. And of course, make sure you're doing this on a clean working space. I'm doing this in the bathroom after I've sanitized and all that good stuff. Then we're going to add our tea tree oil drop. So I added I added about 20, um, you know, I say gauge with the smell. So 20 to 30 drops. And then you'll whip this all together. Now, as you can see, I am doing this with the coconut oil solid. If you felt the need to do it uh, melted, go for it but i i did it solid and once you start whipping the tea tree oil together it it's really simple to do so i added i ended up adding a few more drops of our tea tree oil and after you have it whipped together you're going to put it into your mold um you know i obviously wanted every little bean to be covered and you know, the size of your suppositories will depend upon you. If you decided to get this mold, um, and depending on what you're dealing with, you'll use two to three of these suppositories. And it's really simple how to use suppositories. And these are small. So for me, I would lay down and then take two suppositories and maybe stack them and then insert them or one at a time if you're having trouble doing two at a time but you know I also would recommend that you do this at night so don't put a suppository in and then go to work or go, go to work out because you will be leaking the coconut oil do it at night and also maybe wear a panty liner that is organic cotton don't just put any old thing down there, but make sure you have something to catch the oil once it's melted because right when it hits your skin, it's going to melt and, um, you know, melt into your body. So I'm just trying to get all these little coffee beans plugged up. And then after we do that, we're going to pop this into the freezer. I went ahead and whipped this recipe together and then I went out and did uh, ran some errands with my children this day. So by the time I came back, they were ready to go a couple hours later.
then once you are ready to use them you just pop them out easy peasy because the molds are non-stick keep them in the freezer until you are ready to use them all right you guys so that is the quick little recipe for how to make suppositories tea tree oil and coconut oil suppositories at home i hope that you enjoyed i hope that you find some relief with them and as always, I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.